Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we're going to show you how to service the transmission on this O2 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. This truck has the 6 liter with the automatic transmission. Tools you'll need are 10 millimeter and 15 millimeter sockets and ratchets. You also need a 10 millimeter uh, wrench, a flat blade screwdriver, a torque wrench, a hammer, and transmission fluid and a new filter. Okay, nice thing about these trucks, you don't even have to jack them up to get underneath. Uh, this is a 15 millimeter drain plug on the transmission pan. So you want to remove it and let the transmission fluid drain. You know, obviously into a catch pan. The transmission's draining. I'm going to use kind of a regular screwdriver here. And there's a clip right in here, and pull up and out, okay, and then allows this shift cable pull back and down, now you can get to all the bolts. I'm going to put my plug back in and make sure whenever you reinstall a plug always tighten it up. Be sure. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward removing all these bolts. These are 10 millimeter bolts uh, and they're all pretty easy except for the ones in the rear near the transmission mount. You actually need to use a, a 10 millimeter wrench um, and it's kind of a squeeze but you can get in there. It's really the hardest part of this whole thing is reaching those two uh, rear bolts near the, mount, near the mount. It's just a lesson in moving a small wrench around. Okay, now that the pan's down, this is your filter right here. You just reach in and pull it right down. Okay, and some more fluid's going to drain out of it. Now you're going to want to remove the gasket from your pan um, and then clean up the inside of the pan. Where the filter came out of, there's a little grommet. And I'm just using a small screwdriver and a hammer and basically just kind of uh, pounding in one side of that grommet and then I'll be able to grab on it, to it with a pair of pliers and pull it right down and out. So I'm basically just, you got to be careful not to scratch the aluminum on the transmission. Um, and now you can see here, using the pliers and pulling it right out. Okay, now reinstalling a new one that comes with the filter. Push it up in there with your thumb. And then you want to take a large socket and your hammer again and just drive it in there nice and straight and flat. Okay, now you're ready for your new filter. Basically just push it up in there and the transmission sucks the fluid through the filter so nothing but suction and that grommet hold it in. Okay, now I'm just going to take a cloth and wipe around the edge of the uh, transmission. You don't have to wipe down inside the transmission at all, just around the edge. Here's my pan. Okay, you can see I've cleaned it all up. Um, one thing you want to make sure you do this square here is a magnet. At least take that up, off, and wipe it down. As you can see, I've cleaned my pan quite a bit. And then what I've done is I've got my gasket on, and I've put, put four bolts all the way through, and the rest of my bolts I just kind of fed through a little bit. So now I can put my pan up and in. By the harnesses back here. bracket okay. 
Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just push it up in there and get all the bolts started by hand. Just make sure you don't cross thread anything. Be careful. Um, Okay, now what I'm doing right here is I'm just tightening them up preliminarily. Uh, these things you don't want to be that tight. Uh, only about uh, probably seven to eight foot pounds. So, and here I'm going with the torque wrench. And you can see I'm going to kind of go, um, you know, kind of opposite. I'll do one on one corner, another on another corner, and then just kind of keep uh, moving back and forth. And then once I do them all that way, I'll actually start at one corner and just go right around and make sure that I hit all of them. Um, so that's the best way to do it. Torque them up first, going back and forth, and then just check them all by going right around. And obviously the little ones up near the front, um, you have to do with a wrench, and I just get them as tight as I can with the wrench, and that's usually a pretty good setting. And now we'll put the shift cable back in place. You just put it up into the slot and then push it in. And you might need to shift the gear of the transmission a little bit. Um, push it in and then push that little U-shaped cl clip down on to, and to hold, so it holds everything in place. Okay, so back up top, we'll pull the dipstick out and you know, wipe it down, get any of that old transmission fluid off, and then we will put in two quarts of fluid. Uh, having a funnel like this, nice and long, uh, with the smaller end, so it goes right into the tube, uh, makes it easy. We'll put a couple of quarts of transmission fluid in, make sure it's the st style that's recommended for this vehicle. And after we put in two quarts, we get a reading on the dipstick. So at this point, you can start it up. Um, put the car you know, the, or the truck uh, and put it into reverse, drive it a little bit, put it in forward, drive it, make sure everything's working pretty good. Uh, then you want to get the transmission warm and we'll get to that. So now we'll have the truck running and check the oil and we can see that uh, it may have read full when the truck was off but now it's down um, probably a couple quarts and basically we ended up putting in four quarts into this truck by the time it was full. So you always want to top off the transmission fluid and you want to check the transmission fluid when the vehicle is running uh, and the transmission is warm and it's in park. So you can see it's down there. So we're going to add another half a quart of uh, fluid. And once we do that, then we'll road test it, drive it, you know, after 20, 30 miles check your transmission fluid again. Uh, again, check the fluid when the engine and the transmission are warm and it's sitting level and in park. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.